Okay, welcome to the infamous two benchmark on RPCS3 on the ROG Alloy X. First of all, we're going to cover the best and recommended settings to get the best performance. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to create custom configuration, I'm going to do it with default settings, and that way none of my previous global settings will be there. So, so I don't know, so, you know, so you don't have to try and figure out what is different to you. So if you do default settings, and in GPU configuration, so you go straight to the GPU tab, you want to set the Z core accuracy to relaxed. You want to set multi threaded RSX to on. You want to set asynchronous texture streaming to, you know, on. So this is a little quick overview Z core accuracy improves performance. Multi threaded RSX gives a little boost as well the asynchronous texture streaming uh, you know it can have a you know sometimes a substantial boosting performance as well now we need to go to the advanced tab and we need to change sleep timers accuracy chain that to as host again improve performance then we need to set the rsx fifo accuracy Set that to atomic, and this helps more with stability than performance. So you know, it helps to you know avoid those crashes. As we all know, RPCS3, something like this, can be prone to crashes. Next, you want to go to the debug tab. Again, low note: if you don't have the debug tab, it's something that you have to enable, you know, manually yourself. I've got a separate video covering that. There'll be a link in the description to it. But feel free to follow that video, enable, you know, debug mode and the debug tab and then come back here and what you want to do is disable the z core occlusion queries so disable z core occlusion queries so you want to actually select that to on and click apply save custom configuration there we go now we can launch this up I'm just trying to get the Asus menu up. Do, do, do. I'm going to set this to gamepad again. This is just so I can use my you know, game controller to play now. And I'm going to enable real time monitoring. Put the volume up on this. Bear with me one second. Mm. And sometimes it changes it to well, the input all seems correct. Okay, for some reason we have put my Xbox controller as X pod X input 2. That is fine. Let's go back to the game. Here we go. Dropped out of college, I got a job. So I'm running on turbo mode. RPCS3, I wouldn't run on anything else. Man, I remember playing this game. This was, no, I remember playing the first one to be honest at college when I was 16, 17, and this came out when I was 18 at university. Of, number one, amazing, but this just changed the game. Shame they didn't do many more, they did one more infamous on PlayStation 4, which was great. So, the great graphical, you know, display for the console. And then they had the uh, like the DLC, but that yes. was it. Shin. But again, they did Ghost of Tsushima. 
I actually had on my podcast Friday, if anyone's interested, one of the co-founders of Soccer Club Productions that you know, makes the infamous game, Sly Cooper, and also Ghost of Tsushima as well. It's a shame there's no patches for this game to be able to skip these cutscenes. It was really, really annoying. Just not letting me skip it, which is just so annoying. Yeah, the graphics were a huge jump up. It was like a bit more realistic while still keeping that sort of cartoony comic book look to it. Clearly she doesn't. Yeah, remember this scene at the start. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, 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 Jesus.
days of your production. I took a leave of absence. Like that. By the, the NSA plans to deal with the beast by deploying the military. Wolf has a better plan. You, he invented Reaper technology. You want enough power to defeat the beast? He is your man. Militia controls everything going in or out of the marae. Not half the day but a bunch of weird fascists come loose. People do strange things when they're afraid. Looks like you could lower that bridge if you give it some power. Swimming. Just don't overcharge it. A fire could blow up the entire village. Yeah, I could. I could take all these guys out at once. Oh yeah, and the women and the children and the pets. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this benchmark right here. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what other benchmarks you would like to see for RPCS3 and anything else emulation related. My Patreon page is coming very soon where you can get all the exclusive emulation content that you all know, love, and that's coming soon. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.